This is Julian and what I finally want to talk about in this video here is how to let go. This is really what we've been building up to with the past five videos. So if you haven't seen those yet, I'd highly suggest watching those first so you can really grasp what it is we're going to be covering here. And ideally too, watch this somewhere quiet with little distractions. You can really take it all in. Now there are three steps to letting go. And as I mentioned too in the last video, I'll put a link to it here. Uh, this is not some magical ability. Okay, we tend to think like, oh, letting go, you know, it's this superpower, this technique that's out of this world that's going to change my life. No, okay, it's a natural ability that we all have, but that we're simply not used to doing. Okay, what are we used to doing? Suppressing, expressing, or escaping, not letting go. So step one is being aware of what it is you want to let go of. Okay, and we're mainly going to focus on feelings and sensations here, not thoughts directly. Okay, now why is that? Well, one, if you focus on a thought, what's going to happen? You're going to activate your mind, which is the last thing you're going to want to do when letting go. And we're going to discuss this in a bit. And secondly, understand that if you let go of a feeling or sensation, you'll also simultaneously let go of all of the associated thoughts. Okay, so we're going to be aware of different feelings or sensations in our body. That's step one. Step two is allowing yourself to stay with that feeling and experience it fully. Okay, that means not suppressing it, not judging it, not labeling it, not resisting it, not, you know, running away from it. It's like facing it and allowing it to actually flow through you, if you will. Okay, that's step two. And step three is finally letting it come up and letting out the energy behind it. Okay, these are the three steps to letting go. And what I thought we'd do here is go through each of these steps. And I thought I'd share with you the way I personally go about it myself and some of the tools that really helped me. So to start here, sit down in a chair with your back straight, your feet planted, and your palms face down on your lap. You can do this with your eyes open, your eyes closed, whatever you prefer. I personally like doing it with my eyes closed, but it's really up to you. And you're going to bring your awareness down to your stomach and chest area. Okay, remember you want to focus on feelings and sensations here. So do this right now, bring your awareness down and just tune in to any, anything that's just stirred up. Okay, anything that's not very comfortable, if there's like a knot in your stomach, just maybe if there's any tenseness anywhere, just anything that doesn't feel good. Okay, you're going to tune into it, zone in on that, and that's what we're going to focus on letting go. Okay, and you can do this on anything you're just feeling presently in the moment. Okay, most of us walk around in a constant state of suffering, where if you go inside your body right now, okay, stomach and chest area, I doubt you're feeling 10 out of 10. Okay, you tell yourself, yeah, I'm fucking awesome, but is that really true? If you're being honest with yourself here, I doubt it. Okay, there's always something that's a little stirred up. So you can zone in on that. You can also just bring up some of the suppressed emotions or repressed emotions that are in your subconscious. Okay, if you think back to different traumatic experiences, you can kind of replay those and then zone into the sensations and feelings there. Or you can just do this with anything. You know, we talked about desire in one of the videos. If there's something you just really need, you know, and it's coming from this place of lack, how do you let go of that? Think of what it is you desire so badly and then zone into the feeling, okay? This here is step one. Now step two is experiencing this fully, okay? And this means not labeling it, not judging it, not feeling guilty over whatever it is, uh, not fearing it, uh, not wanting to do anything about it, okay? And to do this, you have to disengage your mind, okay? This is big. As long as your mind is active, it's always going to be labeling. You can't let go with your mind. This is big, okay? You can't let go with your mind. You must disconnect your mind from the process here, and you can't use your mind to disconnect your mind either, okay? And this is where it gets a little tricky. You know, most of us, we try to think our way there, like how can I think my way to letting go, or okay, I gotta quiet my mind. How can I use my mind to quiet my mind? Wrong, okay? Now, one thing here that's really helped me, and uh, this is, a tool my energy coach, uh, Glenn Ackerman, actually taught me, is becoming extremely present in your body by grounding yourself at the bottom of your spine. Okay, this is also known as your root chakra or basic chakra. 
And when you ground yourself there, okay, it establishes a very strong connection with your physical body, let's just say. So what we're gonna do here, okay, is again, stay seated, feet planted, palms face down, back straight. You're gonna bring this little chatterbox that is your mind, okay, that's labeling, judging, so on and so forth. You have what it is you wanna let go of. Just be aware of that voice in your head. And I want you to actually visualize this voice going down your spine all the way to the bottom and then resting at the bottom of your spine, okay, where you're gonna start thinking from there, uh, judging from there, the voice will be a lot quieter, and you're just gonna bring it all down, okay, and we're gonna ground ourselves there too. So actually do this, okay, you're sitting down watching this video, just imagine it going all the way down, and that's where you're operating from, okay, the base of your spine. Imagine your nose is down there, you're breathing from there, it's all down there. Okay, and we're gonna ground ourselves here, and uh, to do this, we're going to use a pranic breathing method where we're going to inhale for six counts, hold it for three, exhale for six counts, making a shh noise, and then holding it for three. Okay, and we're gonna do three cycles of this. So you visualized your mind move to the bottom of your spine, your nose is down there, you're thinking from there, and you're gonna start breathing from down there. Okay, so we're gonna inhale for six through the nose, from the base of your spine. You're gonna hold it for three, and then you're going to exhale for six counts, making that shh sound, and you're gonna hold it for three. Okay, and we're gonna do this three times to really ground ourselves there, and what you're going to notice is with every you know, breath, your mind will be a little quieter and a little quieter. Okay, you'll probably feel a little lighter in your head too, but a lot clearer at the same time, and this is just something that's really helped me disconnect my mind. Okay, so let's do it right now. Back straight, feet planted, palms face down. Inhale for six counts, starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it for three, two, three. Exhale for six. Shh, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it for three, two, three. You can breathe normally now. That was one cycle. Okay, we're gonna do two more. Breathing once again from the base of your spine. Okay, that's where you're operating from. Let's do it again. Inhale for the count of six, starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it for the count of three. Two, three. Exhale for the count of six. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold it for three. Two. Three. Breathe normally again. And you should already start noticing things getting a little lighter. That voice getting a little quieter and a little quieter. Okay, we're gonna do one last cycle here. Still breathing and operating from the base of your spine. Inhale for six counts, starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it for the count of three. Two, three. Exhale for the count of six. Shh, two. Three, four, five, six. Hold it for three, two, three, and breathe normally. Okay, and once again, that voice should be a lot quieter, and your mind should start, again, really being disconnected, disengaged, where you can now, finally, allow yourself to experience what we've zoned in on. Okay, whatever was stirred up, whatever didn't feel comfortable, whatever it is you're trying to let go of. Okay, and right now simply be with it, okay? Let it, you know, let yourself experience it without thinking, labeling, judging it. Just be with that emotion, okay? Now, step three is we're now going to allow that feeling, that sensation to come up and come out, okay? And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna zone in on it, okay? And you're gonna bring it up using the same method of breathing, Okay, six, three, six, three. But this time, when you inhale, you're gonna visualize it coming up. You're gonna hold it for the count of three. And when you exhale, making that same shh sound, you're gonna visualize it going out. Okay, so six, hold it for three. Let it out for six, hold it for three. Okay, let's do it for three cycles again, whatever it is you're trying to let go of. Okay, zone in once again to that emotion, that feeling, that sensation. And inhale through your nose, bringing it up for the count of six, starting now. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Hold it for the count of three, two, three. Let it out. Shh. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold it for three, two, three. Breathe normally. Okay, now you're gonna tune back into it. There's probably more of it. Zone back into it, concentrate on it, and we're gonna bring it up for the count of six, starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it for the count of three, two, three. Let it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it for three, two, three. Okay, breathe normally. And it should already start feeling a little better in there. We're going to tune into it one last time. Okay, we're going to do three cycles. And you're going to bring up whatever's left of it right now for the count of six, starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it for three, two, three. Let it out for six. Shh, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it for three, two, three. And breathe normally. Okay. Now, be aware of how you feel, okay, and again, things should start feeling a little bit better, okay, a little lighter, a little less tense, okay, there may be some more there, okay, or maybe you brought some of it up and suddenly some other sensation or feeling popped up, okay, and that just means there's more to let go of, okay, this is a habit that you cultivate, but you've proven to yourself right now that you can actually process these emotions or whatever painful emotion, whatever stirred up, whatever discomfort there is, properly. Okay, and what did you do here? You didn't suppress or repress it. You didn't express it. You didn't escape it. You actually processed it. You let go of it. Okay, and this is um, what's really worked for me. This is the way that I personally go about it. Whatever it is, okay, if I wake up in the morning, I'll even do this. You know, I'll go and like think about what's happening today. And if there's anything that's ooh, a little bit stirred up, like, oh, I'm really worried about this, or I really want this to go a certain way, oh, I really need this, or oh, I really want to avoid that, and I'll ground myself, I'll be aware of it, stay with it, and then bring it up, let it out. Okay, and understand too that all of these feelings or you know, sensations, they want to come out. That's like the natural way of things. We're just hanging on to them. Okay, and what you have to train yourself to do here is let go. Okay, and it's important to really visualize it coming up and out when breathing to really process them. Okay, otherwise, and this is what most of us unfortunately do when we meditate, is we just block them off and they just stay there. Okay, so here it's being with it without judging it and processing it. Okay, so this here is the basic skeleton of how to let go and I'd highly suggest just start practicing this on a daily basis. Okay, start making it more and more of a habit. And we're going to explore this in further depth in the upcoming videos. Okay, we're going to add some stuff onto it. Okay, you can actually make this a lot more, you know, customized to different things that you want to let go of. And we're also going to start diving into your conscious versus your subconscious. Okay, because um, once you start kind of letting go of everything you're experiencing in the moment, okay, or kind of just whatever is present to you here, you then have to start diving into the subconscious. Okay, that there is what you really have to clear out if you want to achieve that happiness with a capital H. Okay, so be sure to subscribe so you can be notified when the next video comes out. And uh, as always, comment here below with your experience, letting go, trying this out. Let me know what you think. I personally read every single comment. And as always, until next time.